Hi everyone, it's day 25 of the Vendée Globe and what a 24 hour period we've had. Sadly, both Samantha Davis and Sebastian Seymour have, uh, have both hit UFOs in the water. In Sam's case, she's hit the keel and, uh, and suffered some damage internally. In Sebastian Seymour's case, he's hit a foil and, uh, and cracked the case. Both boats are currently heading north uh, towards Cape Town and um, I, I, trying to assess their repairs, but I fully expect that they will have to pull in, try and make repairs, or, or maybe it's the end of the race for them. It, in many ways, it reminds me of my race in 2004. I was 400 miles west of Cape Town when I hit an object in the water at high speed and, uh, and initially hit the keel and then it ricocheted down the side of the boat and snapped my starboard rudder. Uh, here's a quick look back at that incident in 2004-05. Thompson heads for Cape Town, his dream over. Meanwhile, Humphreys is powering through the Southern Atlantic with pace until on day 28, he hits a submerged object and he hits it at speed. Conrad is flung across the cabin, survives the impact, but one of the boat's two rudders is snapped. I don't really know what to say. Then we can head to Cape Town. We've got an emergency rudder. Um, I might be able to fit it. If, if I can't, we'll just have to see what happens. Has his dream to race around the world alone in the Vendée Globe been blown apart? He heads for Cape Town his race hanging in the balance. So, uh, yeah, difficult times for the teams involved. At that stage, I wasn't entirely sure whether I would retire. We carried an emergency rudder, and uh, but had never at that stage practiced fitting it. Uh, it wasn't one of these kick-up rudders. It was a rudder slotted in the bottom of the boat, and so it would involve diving under the boat to try and uh, fit, fit the rudder. Uh, and my shore team at that time were working on you know, the contingency of getting the boat safely to Cape Town and how and where we might go. Uh, and initially we looked at a couple of bays, but the main bay that we went to was Simon's Town, which I would suspect if Sam and Sebastian do have any chance of repairs, then uh, just in behind the military base there, there's a, a, a safe place to, to anchor or indeed, as we did, picked up a mooring buoy. Uh, and affect the repairs. Uh, Cape Town's a windy spot, so you definitely do need to have a secure anchorage, uh, as we found on one of the nights I was there when the wind blew up to 50 knots from the southeast. So anyway, let's have a quick look at the uh, the tracker and uh, and see what's going on in the rest of the race. So this is the current weather situation as of Thursday at four o'clock uh, this afternoon, and. Uh, What's really interesting for me is there's two components here. One is this, this deep high pressure, this big high pressure system that is a long way south and uh, is causing some of the boats to, to, to really slow up and potentially a big split in the fleet. Um, there's a lot of pressure gradient for the, with the low ahead of it for the leaders and uh, they're going to have really good solid wind which is going to carry them all the way uh, to Australia. There's another high pressure, um, which if I scroll across here, you'll see, uh, if I can do that, yeah, another, another high pressure here, and that's com combined with this low will give the, the leaders some really favorable, favorable winds. This, this high pressure um, system here is definitely gonna cause uh, a big split in the fleet, and you know, at the moment, you've got boats like Armel Chibon making very good progress, but I don't think they're going to escape that high. The other feature to look out for is this low pressure that is over on the Brazilian coast up here. Uh, that, over the next sort of few days, rapidly deepens and, uh, and really sets up an opportunity for the back markers to carry this low pressure. Um, right the way through this section and they may well bunch up uh, so over the next few days if we just watch what happens so this is Friday Friday lunchtime you can see the low pressure there uh, starting to, to deepen by Saturday it's really 
you know, it's really bombed. It's dropped to, to 949. Uh, luckily, it's uh, quite a way south of the ice line. Uh, so it is going to provide, you know, some pretty strong gradient and probably some quite rough seas. And then on Sunday, it's at 941. You can see it's just off the bottom of the screen there. But you see how tightly packed the isobars are, which means it's going to be, you know, incredibly windy down there. Uh, and this this system will may mean that the likes of Chiral and uh, Miranda and some of the back markers have an opportunity to to really catch up uh, and sail into the back of the the high pressure system that's at the south of Cape Town. So uh, really interesting developments to watch out for for the Jules Verne teams. Uh, and you can see at the moment here we've got IDEC and Sedibo um, and they're. They're fairly close together at the moment. There's only about 120 miles um, for Sadebo over IDEX reference time. She's going well at 30 knots and potentially is, can cut the corner here. But you see again in the tracker, here's that low pressure system. And at the moment, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's not uh, giving them any cause for concern. Uh, but as you see, if we just accelerate the forecast through here till Let's go forward 40, 42 hours, um, and there you go. That's how, 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 how significant that low pressure is and uh, could really give Sedibo a, a slingshot through this, this section. Uh, and they may well be able to hang on to this, this uh, system for, for some miles to get them past Cape Town, but uh, let's watch this space. So that's it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow I'm joined by Dee Kafari. Uh, where we'll hopefully be not looking at uh, any more damaged boats, but uh, we'll certainly have a chat about you know what the options are for Sam and Simon, assuming they do continue to Cape Down. Thanks very much for watching. See you again.